Hey, what is up guys? Matt here for the Toasty Bros and I am back with another video. In this side, this massive box is something from AMD, which I have a really good idea what it is. And we're gonna be doing today is doing an unboxing video of what's inside the box. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right guys, so this just showed up today, like literally 15 minutes ago from FedEx, and I have a good feeling I know what it is. So we're gonna get into the unboxing. So I really don't own a knife. Actually, I do own a knife, but I always seem to lose the knife. So what I'm gonna be using is these scissors to open up this box good old scissor method. Um, but what we're gonna do is cut it open and just see what's inside. So I plan on making videos with this stuff, of course, um, but you might have a good idea what it is with a little bit of the time because, you know, just, you, well, let's just open the box. Let me stop talking. So inside the box, we have a couple things it looks like. All right. Um, I have no idea. This is kind of a surprise to me too because I know I'm getting one thing, but I don't know specifically what else. So what we have right here is a list of the stuff that we got and ooh, this is gonna be fun so what we got right here let's start from top i guess this is just foam this is foam so instead of the wooden box that we got for the 1700 and 1800x which i kind of just gave away what we're doing it looks like amd for the 1500x 1600x and the ryzen 5 lineup uh can i get it out can i get it out this way i might need to do it this way sent over what looks like some sort of black box here let's do it this way there's some other stuff i should probably take out first so this right here is just something from amd this is a empty box i'm assuming this is for packing purposes yeah this is just a packing box so i can move that out of the way move these packing boxes out of the way they're just used to take up some space so this would be easier so let's move that out of the way and then just get this out of here so we can move the whole thing out of the way so instead of the wooden box that amd sent over with the ryzen 7 lineup it looks like we got a black box right here which is like a just matte like cardboard material something special like the ryzen 7 but as you can tell we have the amd ryzen logo so you should probably know what we're getting here so we have a velcro little unhinging thing and inside we have an exploded thing so uh, supposedly okay let's see let's line up these cpus real quick so what we have right here see if I can get a good view. I'll probably get some B-roll over it as well. As you can tell, we have the little cutout holder that says Experience Ryzen, the Ryzen 5 1600X and the Ryzen 5 1500X, a six core, 12 thread and four core, eight thread, unlocked for multiplying, oh, unlocked, for multi unlocked for overclocking. So what we have inside here are the two CPUs. We have this one right here, which appears to be the 1600X, the Ryzen 5 1600X. And also right here, we have the Ryzen 5, five uh buh, 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 where is it this is the 1500x and this one seems to come with a wraith spire cooler because of the size of the box so that's gonna be really cool to test out this one doesn't seem to have a cooler but i'm assuming this is what the cooler is in here let me go and open this up real quick if i can find a way to open it up no i can see on the front this is a wraith spire cooler so we have both coolers for the cpus which is actually really awesome we'll sit that off on the side and see what else is in the box because there is a couple more things it looks like um Let's go down here. Oh crap, I dropped a bunch of stuff. Um, and we have a motherboard, which is an AB350 Gaming 3 motherboard from Gigabyte. So this is the motherboard we're gonna be using for our benchmarking, and it has all the bells and whistles of the B350 socket type, which is perfect for Ryzen 5 compared to the X370 socket type, which I saw recently. Um, and I've been testing with the Ryzen 7 lineup. This is a lot better for the Ryzen 5 lineup. So let's move that out of the way. And then it looks like we have one more thing down here alongside some random cables. We actually got some Gil uh, RAM, which is, oh, we actually got some RGB RAM, guys. Oh, this is awesome. We got some Gil DDR4 RAM. Um, I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that right, but it is RGB. We have two eight gigabyte sticks for 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's RGB RAM, which is actually pretty freaking badass. Let's take these out. Look at these sticks. Look at the, oh, oh I just dropped one. Great, I'm like Linus Tech Tips dropping stuff all over the place, but as you can tell, we got those nice badass RGB RAM sticks. They're gonna look really nice on the motherboard for test benching, but this, all this is awesome, guys. So, 
yeah, thank you guys again for watching this unboxing video. Of course, I can't do any disclosed information as far as numbers goes. I'm not even sure I'm allowed to release this video. This is kind of just me recording it and I sent out an email asking if I could release this before the NDA lifted. Just an unboxing video. But if this is out before April 11th, then I got approval to do so. And I am looking forward to checking out this Ryzen 5 CPU. This is gonna be very interesting and I really hope this brings a good price to performance compared to the Ryzen 7 lineup, which is offered more for the enthusiasts. So, if you haven't already, please like this video down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content from the Toasty Bros and stay tuned for our Ryzen 5 content coming around on April 11th. Peace out, guys.